Hey there, voyeurs. Welcome back to another episode of Bloodlines. So it turns out, I think I can look up the uh, location of the guy on the bail bond through the computer here in this place. So, uh, Rolf Toten, yeah. I think, uh, I assume this was a uh, private computer. But maybe we can use it without him having a problem. So let's try that. Yeah, this should work. So uh, Rolf Toten should be in S through Z, right? For Toten? Yeah, Toten, there he is. Toten R. There we go. So yeah, I could have done this uh, a few episodes back. I used to do a little when I originally got the quest. Okay, let's see no, here. You probably wouldn't know the brand All right, go back to the, go back to Germania, pal. Like we don't take the euro in these like parts. Italiano. Okay. Um, so he's German. Vigo. Caller two, you're on the Deb of Night. Type of bond, collateral, car, red. Hello, caller. Is tonight huh. So maybe we could look for his car, possibly. And his plate, his license plate is Guy Khan. So I guess that's the only clue I see here is the uh, is the car. Really, I don't see an address or anything. Okay, so let's go look for a red lightning bird. You've got our undivided attention. All right. As we all know, the Americans established a moon base back in the late 70s. That's no secret. No. Maybe ask this guy if he knows anything about Rolf. Hey there, Slick. Hmm. Yeah, I've got some questions for you. Okay, I guess I don't have any questions after all. Okay, um... Don't shoot. Telephone, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, off to look for this red lightning bird is what they called it. Yeah, that was my mom on the phone. She wanted to talk about the yard sale I've got coming up. Sorry about that. Hopefully that didn't take but 30 seconds or so. Tried to get off there as soon as I could. <laughs> I guess I could sell some of the old computers at the yard sale. So, uh, kind of a pack rat, pack rat when it comes to computers. Okay, red lightning bird. Ah, shut it, crazy. Um. Mm. So yeah, I guess we just have to uh, search around for his car. I I hope that's all we have to do because that's really the only clue I saw. I guess while we're looking around, um, we could stop by the pawn shop. I wanted to do that anyway. So, uh, the pawn shop's right over here. The thing is, I don't see any cars parked around. It did update the uh, quest log. Let's see what that has to say. Yeah, it's about the car. Okay. Right, guy con on license plate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Find the car, got it. But, uh, let's check out uh, what kind of weapons the guy in the pawn shop has. Um, the bail bonds guy, Arthur, referred us to him and said if we um, told him that he sent us, he could probably hook us up with some weapons. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Yeah, I heard this is a nice place to pick up some weapons. Now, oh, damn it! Who told you that? <laughs> Arthur. All right, look, I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street, you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. I'm not exactly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. If you catch my drift here. Yeah, I don't care if they're legal or not, but you have them, right? I'm gonna go with I understand. Look, now, 
I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. All right. It'll be our little secret. Shh. Keep it hush-hush. Yeah, you can trust me. Well, all right. Come take a look, then. Okay. This is it? Just some ammo? Yeah, I was hoping... I, I wasn't even interested in the guns. I was hoping you'd have some armor. When did I pick this knife up? Huh. Yeah, and I picked up a severed arm. I can't sell it to him. That would have been funny. Here you go. Here's a severed arm. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fun to use. Um, if severed arm. Yeah, I don't I don't know where I picked up that uh, knife. Don't remember picking that up. Okay, back to looking for this car. I wonder how long it's going to be before I can get some armor. Hmm. Might have to go to a different uh, city first before I can get that. Okay, so red car. That's not a red car. Maybe it's in the parking garage. That's logical, right? Is this it? Yep. That's it right there. Well, open up. Silly trunk. Oh god. The trunk is glitched. There we go. Finally. Alright, I uh, already got a tire iron. What's this right here? The game would let me pick it up. There we go. Alright, a diary. Let's check this out. Seems to be a woman's diary. I met a guy today at, at the asylum. Yeah, I'm not going to read all that. I'm just going to check the quest log and see what it says. In the sake of saving, saving time here. Okay. Got Lily's journal. Last entry mentions a plan of hers to break into the local blood bank. Oh, okay. Alright. Wait a minute. The guy at the blood bank is the guy we're looking for? Yeah, I've, uh... No, he's probably not the guy we're looking for. He probably knows something about it, though. So let's head down here and talk to him. Come on, game. Load up. Load up. There we go. Yeah, let's go have a chat with uh, Mr. Bloodbank here. Need a fix? Mm, not right now. So what are we supposed to do? Let me check that uh, journal. I guess I will have to read it after all. Okay. We met a guy today at the asylum. Okay. I think he's getting serious with Rolf. Huh. Skip to the end. Maybe... There's some important info at the end. Rolf brought back blood from the bank. Maybe I can sneak in and grab a few bags. So, okay, so maybe Rolf is at the asylum, possibly. So let's check there. I 
could read the journal, but I have to pause the video. And, uh, that would take a little bit of time. I'd rather just guess until I figure it out. Where are we headed here? Okay, this is the asylum. Maybe Rolf is in here somewhere. Good looking guy. Yeah, I was just looking for somebody. Oh man, wait! Say that again! Oh god, it's this guy. Yeah, maybe you'd hear me if I pulled your head out of your ass. Oh god. Maintain the masquerade. Maintain the masquerade. Leave me alone, idiot. Hey man, just because I'm a ghoul and you're some cool vampire, you don't need to think like crap. Okay? Oh man. So I uh, stop acting. <laughs> just shut up and tell me what a ghoul is. And quit acting like a tool. Okay, calm down. Never a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I, I want out of this conversation. <laughs> that guy annoys me. Hmm. Actually, I think it will pause it and then uh, read the journal because. I don't see any Rolf in here, so I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. I read the journal. Rolf turns out to be the one that turned Lily into a vampire in the first place. Okay. And I guess there's some other clue in the blood bank here. So let's talk to this guy again. Yeah, I need to get into the back room. Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. Oh, okay. Queen bitch. Now serving number seventy-five. Number seventy-five. Okay. Yeah, you lucky I left my shotgun at home. Uh huh. Well, we're gonna have to sneak in then, I guess. Who the heck is this? Who are you? What are you doing back here? Yeah, those are both excellent questions, my friend. I think you want the clinic upstairs. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? <laughs> yeah, maybe not, excuse me. I don't think I, I'm going to kill him over this. Hmm. Yeah, I've been in this computer before. Still not sure what it does. Oh, and there's the timer. So, uh... I have to wait until the next episode to find Lily, I guess. But, uh, apparently, there's a clue in here. So, uh, yeah. As always, thanks for watching, Warriors, and I'll see you next time. Later.